hello everyone welcome back to the new video and i thought to make this quick video on a unique way of bypassing open redirect and maybe some of you know maybe some of you don't but a lot of us don't know how things are working behind the scenes right like if you know a bug you should also know why it's working so that's why i'm making this video and i'm going to decode that as well why things are working the way it is working and yeah we'll talk about it so i'm going to demonstrate you this bug using os juice shop so we're doing this in a very ethical way okay so here we are now when you're hunting for open redirect you basically find out parameters in the url right you see if there is any URL parameter present and then you try to pass in a URL that is out of scope or the application shouldn't allow you to do that and then you see if it redirects you or not, right? But we don't see any parameter over here. So the second approach would be is just to go into the JavaScript file and look for any potential parameters like redirect or just question mark you can search for that as well as something like that i know it's a bit hard that's why the first approach you should do first because when you're analyzing the application and capturing every request in burp suite you will automatically get to know if there are some kind of parameters going on or not okay so right now let's just go into the main.js file and i'm going to search for redirect okay so we are getting here the first one and there are more results so i'm going to go down a bit as you can see these are not really parameters okay wow i wasn't expecting this but yeah <laughs> we have a testing username and testing password and a client id as well but anyways that's not the goal right now but let's go a bit more down to see what we have Okay, so we have this redirect URI over here. Okay, this is for the OAuth implementation. And here we are with a few more redirect parameters. Okay, so here we have uh, this address and it's a Bitcoin address. So using this redirect, it's redirecting to this Bitcoin address. Let's copy it. Again, something like this shouldn't be in the source code like that. But yeah. It is redirecting us and not sure if that was allowed or not. Okay, so we know that redirect is working and it is redirecting so some address and okay we saw the challenge outdated allow list to let us redirect you to one of our cryptocurrency address which is not promoted any longer okay cool but that's not the goal again we have to find a way to redirect to some other domain so i'm going to use the same redirect parameter here redirect to equals Sorry, the redirect is not the parameter here. Do is the parameter here and redirect is the path. I'm really sorry. I think the virus is in my head now. <laughs> okay, so let's say to my website, medusazeroxf.com. And it says unrecognized target URL for redirect. It's not allowed. Means there is some kind of allow list that is going on and it is checking if we are allowed to redirect or not and it's clearly not allowing us we can look for some open redirect payloads here to bypass this yeah here we are so you know what let's try this one i'm gonna pick a random one and let's see how it behaves Okay, so I'm going to paste here and instead of example.com, it would be 
medusa0xf.com again it's not allowing us so you can definitely go through this list and try different kinds of payloads mm, let's try um okay you can see here um something a whitelisted domain and then you can provide your domain that you want to redirect to okay so we are noticing that when you provide a domain directly which is my domain here it's not allowing us to redirect because it is checking the domain name and there is some kind of allow list that is checking for it or probably is checking for a string value and the string value is not matching to my domain that i'm providing and that's why it's giving us error so there is a different way to bypass it. What you can do here, first you gotta find what is allowed. So we saw something in the JavaScript code, if you remember. Let me, let me go back. Okay, I have to reload. Before we got to this uh, blockchain stuff, we, we saw one more thing, if you forgot. Yeah, this one. As you can see, redirect to it's the same two parameter on the redirect path, but here we have the juice shop GitHub path. So I think this is allowed. Let's try it. And yeah, it is allowed. It means this one is whitelisted and it is checking for this particular string or this path, I don't know, and redirecting us there. But now let's try to bypass it. We're gonna use this one to our advantage to bypass. Okay, so we know that this is allowing us on this path. So let me open my notepad. So here in my notepad, uh, I'm going to show you what the payload is going to look like it start with redirect and then i'm going to provide my website url and then i'm going to provide a random parameter let's call it this and then yeah this one okay now let's copy this whole thing and paste it here and enter and as you can see it's redirecting to my website now so yeah this is how it's working and now you must be thinking what's going on okay so now let's jump into that okay so let me show you We're gonna find the source code of this so you will understand it and routes let's look for redirect and redirect.ts okay okay so i think this is a file so the problem here is if you look at it it says security dot um, is redirect allowed and here goes our url and it checks if it is allowed or not so this github path is allowed but our domain wasn't allowed then why it's working it's simply because it's checking if the allow list url is present somewhere in the string so we pass this whole string right and this is present over here so it's just going to check that if it's present somewhere then it's gonna let you bypass but if you put it directly because it's not in the allow list it's not gonna let you bypass that so if i have to point out the line that is like making the whole difference is this one utils dot starts with the url allowed url so it's just checking if there's an allowed url or not and then it's redirecting i know right that's a weird logic but yeah this is how it's working so that's it for this video i hope you learned something new let me know your thoughts in the comment section thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one